Hi there, I'm so happy to have my third story published by Hickory Stump. It's really an honor to be read. I was in therapy. Seriously, this story is a true story and I was going through a lot and actually writing it and forming it into a piece of fiction helped me to get better. Well, both of those stories are people in my lives. We changed the names to protect the guilty, and uh, they really did happen to me, so I am the narrator. And even though it's fictionalized, it's very, very much the truth at the same time. Interesting since the whole story is about lies and truth, but nothing's a lie in my story. Uh, their stories are very, very interesting in that they cross like an X and they happen 20 years apart, but at the same time, they're very instructive as towards what is a lie and what is the truth. Very good for today. I think all writers have inner critics, and sometimes we have to shut them up and just write the story. And then later on, your inner critic can come out and help you edit the story. But you can't really criticize yourself too early. Well, you know, I did not want to write another musical, but this story beckoned me, and it actually was at the instigation of the composer, David Evans, who read it, and read an earlier version of it, and thought this would really, really make a good musical. At first I said, oh, I don't really want to do this, I'm digging up the same territory, and he said, let's just do it for fun. And as I started doing it, I realized that translating the short story into musical stage form was very, very challenging, and keeping it down to three characters, which makes it very commercially viable, has been very challenging as well. So I'm enjoying it, I'm digging deep into the characters, I'm changing a lot of things because it's a completely different medium. But remember that David also lived through some of this story with me. He is not a character in the show, but David was part of story number two. Read ahead. Well, as the story is going on, you keep wanting to say, don't believe him, don't believe him. But you can't do that. My advice to the narrator is, you will heal. It will take a long time, and maybe you should write a story about it to make you heal. But there's really no thing that you could say to this character to make him not go through what he's going through in two different time frames.